first Sunday of 2020. This is Claudette St. Rose for Believe in Yourself video. I am excited to be here. What brings me out today? Breakfast and basketball. Yeah, breakfast and basketball. Just love coming out here to see what the guys are doing and it's the beginning of the year. It's the beginning of the year and all these dreams and aspirations. I'm here. For those who are watching, whether it's, it's here or abroad, there's so much happening and there are other places people could be but I'm just happy to be here to show love to the guys but enough about that I have a special guest a special guest that's here with me but I am going to stick around I want you to stick around and I'll be back after this commercial break so don't go anywhere you know how you can reach me you can reach me at 212-714-7188 or better than that reach me on my email cbsgea at yahoo.com so stay close I'll be back after these commercial breaks. Thank you. Yo, I don't even know where to start, man. But yo, just yo, you know I love you. But more importantly, man, I'm real proud of you, yo. 21 years old a day, you did it the way it's supposed to be done, kid. You know what I'm saying? On the court, in the classroom, in the home, and in the community. I'm real proud of you. You are a product of your family, and we all got nothing but love for you, man. Onward, my brother. Onward. Forever. Thank you. I'd like to give a special shout out to Justin. Happy 21st, and wish you many more. But man, we're going to yeah. go back to the studio. Yeah. Happy birthday, Justin, man. Live it up. It's your 21st, bro. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Birthday shout out. So I got to say happy birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday. Um, you're old now. I love you. You're my best friend. You know, I have to tell you anymore. Justin, continue being the loving friend that you are to my friends, to my son, and so caring and loving to my family. We love you. All right, happy birthday, Justin. We love you. Happy birthday, Justin. We super duper duper love you. Happy birthday, Justin. You still my son? He's 21. You will always be my son. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Justin. 21st, the best year ever. All right, all right. I want to thank everybody for coming out and celebrating my son's 21st birthday. I appreciate you. God bless. Happy New Year's and a healthy one. And for those who didn't come that's here in spirit, God bless. Back from commercial break with an amazing entrepreneur who's been in Harlem for a long time. And I am just happy to introduce this brother who Guess what? He happens to be from a country that is right next to my country, Panama. He's from Costa Rica. And I am just proud that there's someone like him here, just like me, who come from another country and is doing great things. Great things here in the community, great things in Harlem. But let me just have him introduce himself and he can tell you a little bit about himself. Hello, hello, uh, audience. Uh, my name is Bernardo Ruby. This is a wonderful opportunity with uh, these wonderful people who have uh, taken out the time to introduce the new Harlem 
coffee. Uh, I've been in the Harlem community for over 40 years and uh, I have uh, grown up pretty much uh, most of my life in, in Harlem. Uh, I have children and uh, I have participated in uh, several businesses here. Uh, my current business is the New Harlem Coffee which is a brand of coffee that is developed over a family tradition of uh, drinking coffee coming from Costa Rica to Harlem and living here and establishing ourselves but still bringing the roots the, the, the essence of who we are and sharing it with our brothers and sisters who have welcomed us in Harlem and made Harlem our home. So New Harlem Coffee is an example of how the community, the diversity, the immigration comes to work and how we all participate in the development of what we love, Harlem, New York. Bernardo, I love the picture that you have on, uh -huh. on the, the front of the coffee. Yes. That's your mother. That is my mother. She uh, came here back uh, in the late 50s, early 60s, and then we all migrated uh, from uh, Costa Rica, Puerto Limon, Limon. Uh, uh, to uh, the Harlem area. And uh, yes, she is an icon in our family. She is my inspiration. Unfortunately, she passed away, which is a tremendous loss to me. But uh, her, her essence, her spirit, her presence is very much a part of us, a part of Harlem, and that's why she graces the new Harlem uh, bag of coffee, uh, a picture taken back in 1952 when she actually began her own business and sold coffee back in uh, Central America, Costa Rica, Port Limon. For those of you who are watching, you probably don't know, but when when folks are from Panama and Costa Rica it's one and the same we're one and the same we're one people when someone tells you they're from Costa Rica you can actually say they're from Panama this is how close we are so many great places me for one I know my mother visited Costa Rica several times so did my brother and my nephews they studied in Costa Rica hey Isaac and uh, my other nephews they a whole lot of them studied in Costa Rica because the education is great yes. but going back to your business uh -huh. This is you. You said that your brothers and you, your siblings and you, you're part of this. Yes, yes. Uh, New Harlem Coffee is uh, a venture that we have currently, and we're trying to make it the coffee of choice, not only of Harlem but of New York and of the nation, and also to reach out to people who are outside of the United States and have them enjoy this very, very special family reserve of coffee that originates in Costa Rica but is very native to, to Harlem. So yes, my brother and my sister and I participate in keeping the tradition alive and keeping the image and, 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 and the taste and the flavor that my mother tried to promote uh, in every bag and in every cup of coffee that you will enjoy. Bernardo, your brother and your sister. Yes. All three of you are in this venture together. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we are trying to keep the tradition of the family, the tradition of my mother, who graces every bag of New Harlem coffee alive. Uh, she was a very particular person. She had excellent taste, and she crafted this coffee by mixing a variety of beans from Costa Rica to come up with this very, very special flavor. So, yes, uh, my brother, my sister, myself, uh, in love and respect for the family, as well as our tradition here in Harlem, want to keep this uh, uh, New Harlem Special Reserve coffee as a tribute not only to my mother, but to the wonderful Harlem community that has embraced us since we came here over 40 years ago. So my question for those who are watching and just like me, mm -hmm. are you a coffee drinker too? I've been drinking coffee. They used to say that it was bad to give children coffee. Yeah. But since I was three, I have been drinking coffee. Well, I, I'll tell you a story really quick. When I was uh -huh. growing up also, they never gave us coffee, but my dad, may God rest his soul, whenever my mom would make a cup of coffee for him, I mean, it was a joke because we would all, my brothers and I, I'm the uh -huh. youngest of three, we would yes. all sit around and every day we were, somebody was chosen to have like the last of the bottom of the cup, the coffee. Uh -huh. yeah. So 
my dad would give us just like the sprinkle uh, taste, and yes. the taste of the coffee because uh -huh. yes just like you said uh -huh. you know we never our kids never drank coffee but you know maybe yeah. that's why i only like tea but this uh -huh. coffee this brand of coffee that yes. you have it's just really amazing it's Thank very you. smooth yes it's you know it's very flavorful it's rich it has body yes well you know that that is part of the beauty of costa rican coffee it's one of the finest coffees in the world and and the flavor low acidity high in flavor and taste is part of the tradition that that makes Costa Rican coffee so great. As I said, they shouldn't give uh, children coffee at a very early age, but I've been drinking coffee since I was three and uh, loved it. And my grandmother made sure that there was a cup for each one of us, a little tin cup uh, where we shared uh, the flavor and taste and, and got our energy for the day. So for those who are watching, how can people get a hold of this coffee? Because you know, you we are yes. addressing people here yes. and we're addressing people abroad. So yeah. for those who are here and for those who are abroad, how can yes. they get yes. their hands on this coffee? Uh, NewHarlemCoffee.com is uh, our website, but you can reach me uh, through Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as uh, on WhatsApp at 1646-261-5334 on WhatsApp, 1646-261-5334 on WhatsApp, as well as through email bmrubie at gmail.com. We welcome inquiries, we welcome distributors, we welcome people who just drink coffee every day and would like to make this their coffee of choice. Do you deliver, Bernardo? We absolutely deliver. And part of the beauty of this is that we plan to deliver brewed coffee in a uh, 6 to 10 cup container every single morning. So for those who are looking to, you know, in their busy day, have a brewed coffee delivered to them, New Harlem coffee will be brewed and delivered to your home or your office right at your desk for you and your uh, uh, colleagues to share. One other question, Bernardo. If somebody wanted to come into your store, is there a store where they can come? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. At 7th Avenue and 123rd Street. The address is 2070 7th Avenue at the corner of 123rd and 7th. We have a gallery space that includes art, coffee, and other community products. So, 2077th Avenue at the corner of 123rd and 7th is where the coffee also can be purchased. Bernardo, so... I repeat, 2077th Avenue at the corner of 123rd Street. Uh, right there, right at the corner, you can come and enjoy a free cup of coffee as well as purchase a bag of coffee. Thank you, Bernardo. You want to? I know you have kids. You want to give a shout out to your kids? Yes, a uh, shout out to Jose Ruby from the uh, New York Abstract. Uh, a shout out to Hailey King Ruby, a wonderful artist that's grown uh, Harlem based. The Basquiat of Harlem is Hailey King Ruby and uh, he has de dedicated his life to painting and uh, a very, very inspirational example because he has Down syndrome yet he is one of the up and coming artists in the Harlem community. Thank you very much. You want Thank you. you have anything Thank else you. you'd like to add? No, I just uh, want to extend my thanks to uh, the Honorable Mario and uh, to you, uh, the, uh, La Rose, uh, Claudette La Rose, for giving me this great opportunity. It was a wonderful experience for me to come out here this morning and see the wonderful work that you're doing in the Thank community. The turnout you. was spectacular, and I think uh, this is a tribute to, to the great work that both of you are, are doing uh, for us in Harlem. Thank you very much, Bernardo. Thank you. Okay. And there you have it. Thank, Thank you so you. much. And there you have it. That was Mr. Bernardo Ruby. Just like Bernardo Ruby, he's an entrepreneur. All you have to have is a dream and I an idea and just really work on it to bring it to fruition. It's all about really believing in your brand, believing in yourself, believing that there is a higher power and really focusing in on the things that are important to you. 
this is a family venture and just like it is a family venture he held on to the dream of his mother and they him and the siblings they just continue to move it forward and this is what life is about it's about dreams and aspirations just like basketball basketball is not only a game basketball is more than that basketball is life and on that note I just want to say again thank you to mr. Ruby for coming out and sharing of himself with us sharing of his entrepreneurship we really really appreciate you coming out and, and, and really interacting with the players and showing people that a dream is more than a dream remember you can reach me several ways you can reach me on my believe in yourself video page on Facebook and please go there because there are a lot of events and you can see exactly what's going on or you can call me the 212 number 212-714-7188 or additionally you can reach me on my email yes send me an email CVS just like the pharmacy CVSGEA at yahoo.com would love to hear from you there is an event we have coming up at the uh, the 25th of the month I would love for you to come out the 40 40 plus invitational go to my page so you can see where it's going to be in all the details again thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me appreciate you Maya and Gabriel you guys are my world Mario Gray I love you to pieces and you know what all the basketball players are basketball is life peace and blessing until next time